round and six inches long, your baby is about the size of a large mango. A mango dipped in greasy cheese, actually. Vernix caseosa, a white, cheesy-looking substance made up of lanugo, oil, and dead skin cells, now covers your baby's tender skin, protecting it from that long soak in the amniotic bath. Without it, baby would look pretty wrinkled at birth. Baby's legs have gone through a growth spurt and are finely in proportion to the arms. Those longer legs, coupled with the strengthening of cartilage into bone, will make your little one's jabs and kicks more powerful, which means you may be feeling them now. Keep in mind that baby movements can first be felt anytime from 16 to 22 weeks, usually earlier in second and more time moms than in first timers. Combined with the power of newly formed neurons that are sending better coordinated messages from the brain to the muscles, and you've got a formula for stronger, more controlled movements. In the months to come, you'll experience plenty of flutters, kicks, jabs, twists, stretches, and punches, though you can't count on feeling them regularly until 28 weeks.